Order of operations. Mathematics has its grammar just like any language. Grammar provides the rules that allow us to write down ideas so that a reader can understand them. A critical set of those rules in mathematics is called the order of operations. The order of operations allows us to read an expression and interpret it as it is intended. It allows us to understand what the author meant. For instance, the below expression could mean many different things without an agreed upon order of operations. How would you evaluate this expression? We have 8 minus 5 times 5 times 3 minus 4 squared divided by 2 plus 8 divided by 4 plus 3 minus 2. There are so many different operations. Which one should you do first? Should we do the division of 8 divided by 4 first? Should we evaluate the squared, the exponent of 2, 4 squared? Should we multiply 5 times 3 first? Should we do what's inside the parentheses first? We just don't know without knowing the order of operations. That's why they're so important because there's so many different options. We want to make sure every single person looking at this expression knows where to start. It's like our roadmap of how to get to our final evaluated answer. Now, parentheses will make your life much easier. We want to use them a lot in mathematics. Each time you do an operation, keep the result in parentheses until you use it for the next operation. You'll be able to read your own work and avoid mistakes. When you're done, read each step you did and you should be able to check your work. Also, when you substitute a value into an expression, put it in parentheses first. That'll save you a lot of trouble. A lot of times, Teachers will say the first mistake you made is not using parentheses, and parentheses never hurt using them, so it's just encouraged and helpful to do it, especially when evaluating expressions. One acronym used for the order of operations is PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S, which stands for parentheses, exponents slash roots, multiplication and division, and then finally addition and subtraction. This order right here helps you read an expression, but it also helps you write expressions that others can read as well. PEMDAS, it might be even helpful for students or for some people to use the saying we have, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. That can help you remember that word PEMDAS and then again this order of operations. Since parentheses are always done first, you can always eliminate confusion by putting parentheses around what you want to be done first if you're going to write an expression. And they may not be needed, but again, they don't ever hurt. But again, this order of operations, we have parentheses, then exponents and roots. And now here if you see the M and the D for multiplication and division are in the same line. And that's because they're going to be done at the same time, just read from left to right in an expression. Also, addition and subtraction will be done at the same time, read from left and right in an expression as well. So PEMDAS is the acronym we can use, but there are some things we have to remember about it. So now let's go back to that really complicated expression. And now knowing those order of operations, let's evaluate. So we have to use that acronym PEMDAS. P-E-M-D-A-S. So P in PEMDAS says to do the operations in parentheses first. So we have the operation of 7 minus 5 and 5 minus 4. So that has to happen first before anything else according to our order of operations. So we'll have 7 minus 5 is 2 and 5 minus 4 is 1. That takes care of again the P in PEMDAS in our order of operations. We then have E, so that tells us to do all the exponents and roots. So we do have an exponent in this expression. We have 4 squared is going to simplify to 16, 4 times 4. So that takes care of the E. We don't have any other exponents or roots in this expression. The M and the D are in PEMDAS is now the order of operations telling us to do and evaluate the multiplication and division in the expression but we're going to do them at the same time from left to right. 
So if I look at this expression, we first have the multiplication of 2 times 5 is 10, and then 10 times 2 is 20. We have that product first. Then we have 16 divided by 8 is 2, and then we have 6 divided by 3 is 2. So we have multiplication and then division. Now that happens to be, again, the same order of MD, but it doesn't have to necessarily be that way. I could have done the division first if it had come before more to the left of that product. It just didn't happen in this expression. Just be on the lookout for that because it can be a little tricky. And finally, now we have in PEMDAS, we have our AS standing for addition and subtraction. So we're going to do all the addition and subtraction from left to right. So we'll have 20 minus 2. Since, so here's an example. Even though the S comes after the A in PEMDAS, the subtraction comes first reading from left to right. So I'm going to do that 20 minus 2 first. That will give us 18. So that'll be 18 plus 2 plus 1. So now 18 plus 2 is 20. And 20 plus 1 gives us our final answer of 21. So again, for the order of operations, you want to think of the acronym of PEMDAS to know which operations to evaluate first, and not just for you, but for anybody who's trying to evaluate the problem. We should all get the number 21, no matter who is reading the problem, because of the order of operations.